Accessories in Terraria are equipables that offer the player game-changing abilities. For example, the Soaring Insignia allows you to fly infinitely, and the Recon Scope allows you to zoom out. Some other candidates for the best accessory in Terraria would be the Master Ninja Gear, Ink Shield, Worm Scarf, Brain of Confusion, Terra Spark Boots, and of course, the topic of this video is the Celestial Shell. I think that it's the best accessory to use for any class and for almost any purpose, since it provides combat, movement, and even mining buffs. I'm gonna break down how to get it and why it's so good in this video. And if you wanna see more content like this, let me know by leaving a like. Now let's get straight into it. The Celestial Shell is only post Golem and is a combination of four different accessories that provide the player with combat, movement, and mining buffs as I said before. Here's a table of everything you'll receive when equipping it. For combat, you'll get a solid 10% damage increase and 2% critical strike chance increase no matter what class you're playing. And defense wise, you'll receive an extra health regen boost and defense boost. You'll also get unique abilities like immunity to drowning and the ability to swim in liquids which can be very helpful when fighting a boss like Duke Fishron since you can use the ocean to your advantage. The whopping 15% mining speed increase will also help with mining late game for ores like Chlorophyte in the jungle, or breaking down massive structures to make room for that massive Moonlord arena you're building. On top of all these buffs, during the nighttime you'll receive an additional 7 of them. Here's a table of the buffs you receive only in the nighttime. As you can see, the melee class benefits the most, with extra increases to attack damage, speed, and crit strike chance. But no matter what class you are, you'll get a solid plus 3 defense and another small health regen boost, adding up to 7 increased defense and 1.5 HP per second life regen in total. Also with a celestial shell equipped during the daytime, your character's appearance won't change. However, in water your appearance will change to a merfolk, and during the nighttime your appearance will change to a brown werewolf. If you don't want these appearance changes but still want the effects of the celestial shell, open up your inventory and press the little eyeball located in the top right of the accessory slot. Okay so how do we actually get the celestial shell? Good news, unlike other accessories which are amazing like the ang shield and terra spark boots, the celestial shell doesn't require a gazillion ingredients. All you need is four items, the Moon Charm, Neptune Shell, Moonstone, and Sunstone. The Moon Charm and Neptune Shell combine to make the Moon Shell, and the Moonstone and Sunstone combine to make the Celestial Stone. Then mix the Moon Shell and the Celestial Stone to get the Celestial Shell. Pretty simple, right? Let's dive a little deeper. 1. The Moon Charm is obtained with a 1.67% chance from werewolves at night. This may seem like a low chance, but it's really not too bad. Divide 100 by 1.67 and you'll get 59.88, which rounds to 60, meaning you'll need to beat about 60 werewolves just to get one moon charm. Not too bad. Werewolves spawn commonly on full moons which happens every 8th Terraria night. Here is a table of the moon cycles in Terraria. Keep note that the full moon happens after the waxing gibbous. This way when you see the waxing gibbous you'll know that werewolves will be spawning the next night. To maximize your chances of getting the moon charm, placing down a water candle, drinking a battle potion, and using the bloody tear on the night of a full moon are the three best ways to boost werewolf spawn rates. This way you'll get well over 60 of them and are almost guaranteed the moon charm. If you want a full moon to come quicker you can also also sleep in a bed to speed up time. And in case you didn't know, the current moon phase can be determined by using the sextant, an informational accessory dropped by completing angler fishing quests. 2. The Neptune shell is obtained with a 2% chance in normal mode and a 4% chance in expert or master mode from the creature from the deep enemy, which spawns during the solar eclipse. This means you'll need to beat about 50 in normal mode and 25 in expert or master mode. Quite simple. Solar eclipses have a 5% chance of spawning every morning after one mechanical boss has been defeated, but can also be summoned manually with a solar tablet. Crafted with 8 solar fragments which are found commonly in lizard chests and dropped commonly by flying snakes and lizards in the jungle temple. Get a solar tablet, use it at 4.30am when the day starts to maximize time and start shredding the enemies. You should get the Neptune shell in no time. In case you are struggling, however, placing down a water candle and drinking a battle potion are great to boost spawn rates during a solar eclipse. 3. The Moonstone is obtained with a 3% chance in normal mode and a 6% chance in expert and master mode from vampires, which also spawn during solar eclipses. This means you'll need to beat about 33 in normal mode and only about 17 in expert and master mode to get it, which is very easy. The same tips apply here as they did with the Neptune shell. Get a solar tablet and use it at 4.30am. Use a water candle and battle potion to maximize your chances. If you do all this, you'll most likely get both the Neptune Shell and Moonstone within one solar eclipse. 4. The Sunstone It's obtained with a 15% chance from Gollum in all modes, meaning you'll probably need to beat him a few times. Here are the loadouts I recommend for every class used when fighting Gollum. Turtle Armor with the Death Sickle, Vampire Knives, and Scourge of the Corruptor for melee. Shroomite Armor with the Chlorified Shot Bow, Pulse Bow, Ichor Arrows, and Grenade Launcher for Rangers. Spectre Arrow with the Nimbus Rod, Rainbow Gun, and Venom Staff for Mages. 
and spooky armor with the Frost Hydra, Raven, and Desert Tiger staffs and the Dark Harvest Whip for summoners. Below in the description, I've linked the official Terraria wiki guide to beat Gollum as well as a few Gollum guides from other Terraria YouTubers since I haven't made one so that you can get the Sunstone as fast as possible. Mix the Moon Charm and Neptune Shell to get the Moon Shell and mix the Moonstone and Sunstone to get the Celestial Stone. Now mix these two at a Tinker's Workshop to get the Celestial Shell. Personally, I get this accessory right after Gollum and use it all the way to Moon Lord every playthrough because it provides a wide variety of powerful buffs and it's easy to craft. What do you think of the Celestial Shell? Do you use it or do you think there are better accessories that you should use instead? If you guys like these types of videos, make sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. Till next time, peace.